Hey everybody and welcome back to the drag room. It is finally time to set this wig in place. I started this yesterday. You guys are with me. Um, I did all the setting and I went through teasing with you guys. So all I did is I did the whole thing of teasing the whole way back and now I'm just going to get ready to set it in place and I have two tips I want to show you guys today. Okay, so when we start with any kind of set like this, your bottom of it is your foundation. Makes sense, right? So you gotta have your bottom nice, strong foundation so that everything else can be built on top of it. And what we're gonna need today is just, um, we need some picks, some combs, doesn't really matter which ones. These are your tools that you like to use, okay? And um, also, these we call, um, th these are called duckbill clamps. And we use them for foiling, but they work great in wigs, especially when you're doing wigs. And also little things I suggest, these are pin curl clips. And they're they're not like a roller clip, they're just, they're really small. And I like them for when I really want to set perfect curls. You guys have seen me use these before. Okay, so let's get started. So I brought in my first section. And the first thing we're going to do, um, this is just a wet spray. It has... I don't even think it has a brand name. I think it's called Salon Care. I get it in big gallon jugs at the supply store. People always ask me what kind of hairspray to use. This is not Aussie, okay? Um, give a little spray at the roots. Now take your little pick comb, and we're just gonna reiterate the teasing along it. It kind of connects things together because you're building a really strong base, right? That's the whole goal of this. So get it where you want it, fluff it all out. Now, you didn't tease the ends, so the ends should lay nice and perfect. Give them, wrong one. now we're gonna give them a little spray with wet spray. I want it wet spray at the bottom because it's stronger, okay? Dry spray isn't as strong as wet spray, but with wet spray you have to let it dry. This tip just lets you speed up your dry time. So give it a little spray. Now, with any blow dryer, it comes with a diffuser. If I just took, if I just took a blow dryer and did this, it's gonna blow my hair away, okay? And that's not, that's not what I want. So, I just moved it all over place. Just do it again. If you use your diffuser, you can softly dry things in place without blowing them around, okay? I use my diffuser all the time. Now, you guys have seen me do lots of stuff with blow dryers. I always use my blow dryer when I'm using wigs or when, when I'm styling wigs. Okay, so that's my first little tip is use your diffuser. So let's take that down our next section. And we're just going to continue on. Okay. Use your duck bills to kind of keep everything else up in place. And we're going to do the exact same thing. First, get it down in place somewhat of where you want it to go. See what it's going to do. Then, give a little spray at the roots. If you don't have to, you don't need to. If you don't need to, you don't have to. I'm going to go along, reiterate the teasing. Just make sure it's all exactly where you want it. And it also helps to connect together because where you brick laid it, you're still going to get little marks, you're still going to get little holes, so it just connects it all together. When you get it the way you want it, take the time to do it right. Okay. Now I'm actually doing this a little fast because I know that the damn here you really aren't going to see it. I'm just really incredibly anal with this kind of stuff. So, on low. Okay, this seems like a really good strong base. So I'm going to continue on doing this. Each section, bring it down, tease it, get it where I want it, put it in place, spray it, and move on to the next section. I'm building as I go up. I'm gonna go really fast with this, and I'm gonna be back in a little second to show you a little thing about waving, okay? This gets really repetitive. Okay, so like I said before, I'm just going through, I'm connecting these points together. Okay, so we've moved, we're pretty near the top now and I've actually started to wave things. I like my waves to be a little bit more ornate, 
okay? Um, what I'm noticing when I see weeks and stuff is that everything is just teased, it's brought back, and the whole thing is shaped into a wave. And they use clips and stuff like that, which these are essential when you want to do waves and stuff. Um, but that's what I notice, is that it's it's really just one big wave, you know, which is beautiful, don't get me wrong, I love it. But I like my waves to be a little bit more ornate. I come from the old school, old Hollywood line of drag, and uh, that's just the stuff I like. So, what you're going to do is, let's take down your next section. Now, I don't do this much underneath because you're not going to see it. If you notice down here what we did, I mean, I worked all, all that hard. <laughs> I worked hard to get this all perfect, but you really don't see it. But this is your foundation. Everything else gets built on top of it. Okay, so I'm just going to take down my next section here, like I did for all the rest. Put this up out of the way. Okay. Now I've got a lot of backcombing in the roots of these, so it's all good. I'm just smoothing out the ends. Okay, and I have about half of the hair that's smooth, so this is what the wave will be. Okay, but you're still gonna go through and connect these together like we did with all the other ones. I probably won't get to finish this on camera today. I actually have clients coming, so. Um, but I will absolutely post a picture of it, and I'll have the picture in the video, like I did with the white one. So, and I'm actually working pretty fast here, so. Things seem to be nice and even. Now, the most important thing you need to think about a wave is that a wave is a curl on its side. And if you ever look up, you know, in any hair books and stuff like that, and it'll talk about first direction and second direction, that really doesn't make any difference to you. But um, think of it that a wave is a curl on its side. Okay, so. The curl is already there, which is this, you know, if you pull that out, it's going to go like this, okay? So that's what a wave is. So I'm just going to show you this here really quick. Now there's a guy online, his name, uh, he's not, well, he's online all over the place, but his name is Farouk Sherman, his name is this long, and I really can't pronounce it. I've heard him say it a couple times, and I really can't pick it up, but he's a hair artist. The man is a genius. If you can ever watch him, you will pick up so many things for wigs, just little tips and stuff and tricks that you can use. So, well, I'm going to do a wave. Now, you're going to need your clips, okay? Give it a little bit of dry spray, okay? And you can see where the curl wants to go. You can see that it wants to do this. Don't fight it. So this is the most important thing, is that you're going to gently pull it apart and it will sit like a miniature wave, okay? So then take one of your clips. This is actually not perfect, but um, it'll do for right now. Just clip that in place. You can clip it together in both places if you want. If you need to, you can use these little clips as well. Then give it a little spray. And you're just going to let that dry and work as you're working on the rest of them. Okay. And move on to the next one. I love waves. I think they are so elegant. And you can build and create the most ornate pieces. I just absolutely love this. Okay, again, so you can see where it wants to turn. You can see where it wants to wave. And you just, no, I'm, I dropped her, sorry. Now, you can, you can change its mind if you want. Like, let's make this one go this way. And it's, it's got to slide through your fingers. I'm gonna try, okay, I'm going to try to do this this way. Let's see if I can do this. So you can see. Okay. So, just slide it apart. And you create a wave. Okay? Now, if the hair was longer, you could go down a couple waves. If you want it. But... Now for this one here, I really only need this. Just clip it in place while you work. It's going to keep everything in place while you work. Okay, move on to the next one. And continue on. You're, you're limited to only your imagination, okay? That's why I think this is going to be better for me just to show you guys tips and tricks because I would rather instill things into you that you can use your own creativity instead of just trying to copy somebody else's stuff, okay? So use this. Use what I showed you. What did we learn today? We learned that your diffuser is a really good tool for you to use. You can dry things in place without disturbing the rest of the hair. Keep it on low. Okay, and the other thing we're gonna that we learned today was waving. Is that a wave is a curl on its side, and don't be afraid to do 
do them in layers, okay? So I hope you guys learned something today about waving and about teasing and about diffusers. And I hope you're just subscribed to Station DRG everywhere you want to be.